Aloha. Ula Vanaka and Aloha. Welcome back to Fresh 2023, another season of Holly goodness that we all know and love. My name is Rio Panapa from the band Sons of Zon, and today you'll join myself and the brothers as we explore the beautiful islands of Hawaii. We've got a massive episode lined up for you, so let's check it out. Aloha, we're Sons of Zon, and this is our world. We're in uh, Kalihi Valley in Hawaii. We're here to record our next upcoming single, On My Way. Being here in Hawaii has definitely influenced um, how the songs come out, you know, in its final form. Do you like your tea? The Salo, an iconic piece to every household, um, which is a great metaphor for holding on to your marriage when you need to sweep those problems under the rug. Oh, <laughs> how I wish I had someone to have marital problems with to sweep under the rug. How's your rug? <laughs> My rug is actually up here. Beautiful. We're high in the sky with Aladdin. Okay, yeah. a whole new world. Today I'm going to show you how to get breakfast at the Papa Eater Market on Sunday morning. Pacific Runway, come, come run, run with, with us. us. We are currently at the Powerhouse Museum, which is the one of the main attractions when you come to Sydney. But tonight, it is Pacific House. And this is where we've decided to have the uh, last and the 10th Pacific Runway. <laughs> I've been running Pacific Runway for 11 years now. Why did I start it? Uh, I had friends and family that were into fashion and hair and makeup, so we did it as a part of a Youth Week celebration that happens here in Australia. And now it's, um, it's grown from a small community event to now being here in the heart of Sydney. Someone had said to me, It'll never work if you just use Pacific people. And that kind of like, you know, ignited the fire to like, no, we can do this, you know? But I then brought on hair, makeup, media, everyone was of Māori Pacific background. I think I felt that it was like, yeah, we can, we can do this and we can keep it going. Is it public society? Yeah. I'm so excited to see public society. Is it tiki? I'm so, oh, we'll do that again, we'll do that again. Uh, I'm so excited to see everybody, all the models, um, especially um, the boys. Because I'm just, you know. <laughs> I'm a bad answer. I'm excited to see everyone come in and um, I'm excited to that we've got a lot of designers that are, are up and coming. My favorite piece would be, other than this, it's like Polynesian Eskimo jacket. It's like a puff jacket, it's on a Japanese influence. This is sort of like a under the sea, sort of a aquatic, shimmy 70s vibe. Getting to be creative again and, and just like do whatever I want with this collection. And I haven't been a part of this um, Pacific runway since 2016. So coming back and being part of the final show, it's exciting. Oh my goodness, what do I love about Pacific Runway? Now that's, do you have two days? For starters, I really love that we can showcase that our Pacific people are more than just coconuts and rugby and, you know, holiday makers. We are showing creativity and commercial viability through it. And when I say creativity, I'm talking not just about the fashion designers, I'm talking about the models, the hair makeup artists, the photographers, the videographers, the stylists. Secondly, I really love what Pacific designers bring to the table, to the fashion table, so to speak, because Pacific designers fuse their cultural backgrounds and their cultural influences with modern silhouettes. So you're going to have a really, really cool, sexy gown, but it'll have a print that is particularly significant to that designer's um, culture and race from what, whichever country they're from. <laughs> He's a bad guy. Yeah. Like, slum walks in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we've got just about a dozen makeup artists that are on site today um, and each makeup artist has created um, their own unique look. Um, usually we would have a makeup director but this year they've shaken things up a little bit. They've given us a bit of uh, you know creative um, outlet to be able to design and apply our own looks for today's models. Yeah I'm still waiting for them to ask me to model but that's okay. Today I'm walking for Akui Designs and I'm also walking for an Indigenous Australian designer um, called Nangala. And so this year is actually my sixth year walking. So I joined Pacific Runway when I was 14, um, now I'm 22. So I've been here for a lot of the, you know, really impactful part of the Pacific Runway journey. I'm very grateful and blessed to be given the opportunity to walk a lot of Pacific designers from all around the region. Um, but I'm excited because this is our last one. All right, when I get asked what's your favourite thing about the show, when I see people come in and they're so excited, like that it's run by our own people, that it's our people on the runway, things like that, real size models, all that type of stuff. Um, yeah, that's what, it's been really good. I, I'm gonna miss it. So although it may be the last one, we are going out with a huge bang on a runway at Powerhouse Museum, smack bang in the CBD of Sydney. Everyone can come to it, it's free for the first time as a thank you for your support and love the Pacific community and the non-Pacific community for supporting and opening their eyes and going, wow, this is amazing. So we're just bringing out all the stops, you know, it's just one thing happening everywhere. It's just Powerhouse, Pacific House. We're going out with a bang. You're on a fresh ease. Welcome to Tahiti. I'm Kahu Kaiha. Today I'm gonna show you how to get breakfast at the Papieta Market on Sunday morning. The Sunday morning market is actually a ritual for the locals. People come here at 5 a.m., 5.30 to get their food on time. What I like about this market, you can get any kind of cuisine. Let's check it out. And right now, we're gonna get some pua roti, some Chinese-style barbecue pork, and you can tell by the line which one is the most popular. Let's go in the line. Well, I reckon we should have woke up earlier. <laughs> sold out, but that's okay. They still have plenty more. Let's get it from here instead. Now, let's go outside. This is lemons from the Marquesas Islands. It just shows that this market is super diverse. You can have fish from the Tuamotu, lemon from the Marquesas Islands, and all the other vegetables come from the other side of Tahiti. So they got farmers coming in, from all around the islands coming here. That's how special this market is. Good morning. We are waking up to fish here in Tahiti. Yoram. Let's get some local food. The most loved meal, but also the most feared for the foreigners, the fafaru. Fafaru is fresh fish that become fermented in ocean water. And what I recommend is to get it straight from the locals because if you don't know the dosage, it's gonna get really stinky. This is mitihue. I love mitihue. And mitihue is used like a sauce. It is made of coconut, water, salt, garlic, and shrimps. The shrimp heads it actually helps the coconut to be fermented and it gives it a really, really yummy flavor. So a little story about myself. I used to come here every Sunday morning in the market to sell goat carry. And that's how I save my money to go to New Zealand. So here I am. Now it's time to get some viennoiserie, just some French pastries. Beautiful. Arroo, arroo. 
Yeah, I'm starving, guys. It's time to eat. Let's dig in! Some cooked banana, cooked kumara, yeah, beautiful fafari. Tayoro, some pahua, some Thai spring rolls, some French pastries, Vietnamese pastries, Chinese style barbecue pork. This is how to get breakfast at the Pape Ete Market on Sunday morning. Kai Kai Mei Thai. Yeah, heaps of aroha here for Sons of Zon. Um, and, and not just us, you know, um, Catch a Fire and other Kiwi bands and um, LABs are getting a bit of love up here as well now. So uh, there's definitely a connection there through the music. Um, yeah, but lots of love, lots of aroha, or aloha as they say here. So um, yeah, we love coming back here. Aloha, we're Sons of Zon, and this is our world. I'll be on my way. way. I just gotta make my big escape. I don't wanna wait. wait. Checking on my ones like boys, it's late. We're in uh, Kalihi Valley in Hawaii. We're at this uh, C Major 7 Studios, run by uh, Noah Cronin, a good friend of ours we've known for years. Uh, we're here to record our next upcoming single, uh, On My Way. Yeah, so we basically came up here with uh, the bones of the song, just that guitar, strum, um, and the concept, um, and a few lyrics and bits and pieces, and we brought that here. Now I'm taking shots to make and added all the other um, ingredients to the mix. Um, drums, bass, guitar, and sort of just started building on that foundation. Like I say, like being here in Hawaii has definitely influenced um, how the songs come out, you know, in its final form. Noah, who's the, the studio that we're at, He's, um, he's the front of house engineer for a band called The Green, and we're big fans of them. And he let The Green's manager know that, hey, the, the Suns boys are coming to town for a few days. They're going to be at the studio if you guys ever want to link up. And we got in touch with The Green, and Caleb was like, yeah, I'm in town as well. Let's, let's just link up and see what happens. So a couple of shots to keep the pace down. Yeah, I get a little buzzing. Caleb vibed on On My Way, and they, the boys just started the writing process straight from there. We are here at the world-famous Giovanni Shrimp Truck here in Kahuku, Hawaii, uh, sampling, of course, shrimp, uh, garlic shrimp. It's uh, the bomb. We do a lot of shows over here on the North Shore, so this is right on the way. We have to stop in every time. Giovanni's, every single time we come, we've got to stop in here. And the weather in Hawaii is beautiful all year round. Like, I think for the locals, it might get for them a little bit cold, but for us, you know, coming from Aotearoa, where it gets actual cold. Um, for us, it's beautiful all year round. We've been here in all different parts of the year. It's always beautiful. Yeah, heaps of aroha here for Sons of Zon. Um, and, and not just us, you know, um, Catch a Fire and other Kiwi bands and um, LABs are getting a bit of love up here as well now. So uh, there's definitely a connection there through the music. Uh, yeah, but lots of love, lots of aroha or aloha as they say here. So, um, yeah, we love coming back here. So it stays. Oh, just 
Don't change that channel, fam. So we're about to laugh like your aunties after the break. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, trans and non-binary, and welcome to the 2023 Unserious Olympics. Olympics. That's right, this is the event where our contestants get to face their childhood traumas right in the eye. Moving right along, we'll be heading over to the higher arena to check out the women's curling competition. What's the name of the arena? Higher. Oh, yeah. I love that, I love that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, trans and non-binary, and welcome to the 2023 Unserious Olympics. Olympics. That's right, this is the event where our contestants get to face their childhood traumas right in the eye. That's right, all of our contestants today will be competing in qualified sports competitions to see if you did for hours when you were younger, or if you pretended that you had irritable bowel syndrome when it was time to clear the table. Yeah, speaking of bowel syndrome, do you have good <laughs> bowels today? <laughs> Just no. a minute. Moving right along, we'll be heading over to the higher arena to check out the women's curling competition. What's the name of the arena? Higher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and in the higher arena, all the way from the dental clinic of Atamai Heights, we have team Do You Like Your Teeth? <laughs> Oh, and just by their name alone, you can tell that these guys are ready and hungry for the competition mm, and Such savagery. Really I mean, speaking are. of savage, do you know if you ever found where the chorus is at? Probably in the fiber. In the broadband. Yes. Do you let your teeth? The solo an iconic piece to every household, um, which is a great metaphor for holding on to your marriage when you need to sweep those problems under the rug. Oh, how I wish I had someone to have marital problems with to sweep under the rug. How's your rug? <laughs> My rug is actually up here. Beautiful. We're high in the sky with the ladder. Okay, yeah. a whole new world. That was so close, but not close enough for team. Do you like your team? Yes, and as you can see, the judges have scored them an eye guy for oh. their first attempt, which is not good. Let's see where they went wrong in the TIO, shall we? Yep. Okay. Oh, yes, right there. Poor technique. Mm. I mean, if you have used a salad before, you would know to sweep to the body and not away. <sighs> Our Lord to the fay for how do you like your team? And you know, the better team won. And unfortunately, it wasn't us. It wasn't? No, no, it was God. At the end of the day, God's the winner. Let's go. OK. The Me bar. The bar. Me the bar. OK, goodbye. Happy hour. Know your roots, party people. Well, it's time to check out our next team to step into the high air arena. Hailing all the way from the dental clinic of Papa Tooth Tooth, it's team Wally Gums. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Now this team here look like they know what they're doing. They look like they've been dancing their whole lives to the sweet sounds of their mum's yelling. Oh, what beautiful sounds. I mean, you can tell that these kids have definitely been doing their fair hours, mm. and it's paying off because they're now at the Unserious Olympics. I know, I can't wait to see what they do. would say these days, let's go. go! What a smooth performance from Team Wally Gums, who have managed to put the Nifogola into its rightful place. That's right, such a touching performance for these guys. And they're all the way from Papa Tutu. Now they've snatched first place. Congratulations! Who would you guys like to um, thank for today's win? I'd just like to thank me, myself and I, and also Liz. Very nice, thank you very much for being here. 
Well, we're going to head over to the medal ceremony now where Sarah Jane Alva will be singing the national anthem. Tune in next week as we check out the Fa Fa Finger Balancing Tea at the Balancing Beam Arena right here at the 2023 Unserious Olympics. Matewa. Original Don Dada. <laughs> well, that's all from us here in Hawaii. It's been amazing exploring with you. Stay safe, and as always, keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh. How do you stay connected to people? Oh, just someone me. Talofa, I'm Joseph Augusto Swali'i here in Samoa. 